Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Eric and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to completely automate your social media channels for your e-commerce store. Now, if you've been doing e-commerce for a while, you already know how important it is to consistently post on your different social media channels to stay engaged with your audience and make sure that they know that you're still active and that you're still alive. The last thing that you wanna see is this gloom and doom, empty and sad Instagram page that show you that you don't want to buy from this store. There is no other conversion rate killer than this weird looking, all abandoned type of social media page. And this is what it looks like. Now, you don't want this to be your social media page. You don't want customers to look at your store that way, right? You want your page to look something like this. Now, the beautiful thing about this method is that you only need one tool to completely automate your social media efforts for your online store. And I'm going to use the tool called Minta. For the sake of the example, I'm going to use a Shopify store because this is the most popular, but it's going to work perfectly fine for you if you're running on Etsy, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, or Wix. Okay, so the, the setup process is going to look exactly the same. I'm going to go through a Shopify store just to show you what it looks like, but you can follow the exact same process if you're coming from from any of the other platforms that I mentioned. And we're going to make sure that we have a specific video just for each one of these platforms somewhere around here. So check it out and make sure you set it up correctly. Okay, so this is my store and I'm running it on Shopify. So all you have to do is in this case, because it's Shopify, this is the dashboard part of my store. I'm just gonna head over to the Shopify app store. I'm gonna search for Minta. So I'm just gonna go through the installation process, which is very simple, right? Gonna go ahead and click on install. And this is what the onboarding process look like. They're just going to ask a bunch of questions about my business so that the AI can generate better videos for my website. Now they're going to ask me for a logo since my logo of the store is just black. I'm just gonna use the Minta logo for now. And I'm gonna hit next. Now Minta is going to suggest a bunch of colors to match my brand look and feel. I'm just gonna use this one because it's the most similar to what I have in my store, but I can always edit it later to make sure that the videos that are being generated are a great fit for my brand. And this is it, Minta already generated tons of videos for my store. I'm just gonna mute that for now and let you look at all these amazing videos being generated automatedly. So I'm just gonna show you a few videos that Minta made for us. In just a few seconds, I can just use these videos and publish them to my different social media platforms. Let's say that I like this video and I would like to edit the video. All I need to do is just click the edit button. And in here, I'm going to be able to edit all the different elements of the video from the design itself. Let's say that I wanna do something for bestsellers. Okay, you can select the template, which automatically going to apply the product for this template. If I want to use it for a different type of video, I'm just gonna choose this template, just give it a second and boom, the video is ready for that product, for that template. If I wish to edit the text on the videos, can just click here and change some of the text. You can change the media, the actual product videos. You can click on it to edit it, the music, colors, and the brand slide. If you want to share the social media, just click the share button and choose the relevant social media, anything from Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or Pinterest. So the next step would be to enable the auto post, which is probably the best feature in this app. So let's just click on auto post. What the auto post is going to do is basically automatically create daily product videos for your products and automatically push them to your different social media platforms. As you can see, I have here my Facebook page, which is empty right now. I don't have, uh, and here is my beautiful wife here. So this is just a demo Facebook page for the sake of the video. I didn't wanna actually use my real Facebook page. So I created this test page just to show you what it looks like. So let's start with Facebook. I'm just gonna click on try it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just connect Facebook. I'm going to continue as myself, continue with Minta and just click continue to install the Minta app on my Facebook account. And now from the list of pages, I'm just going to select Eric's demo page and click apply. The next stage would be to select the dates and times that I want to post in. Let's just say that I want to post, I don't know, other than Sunday, three times per day. 
So let's just say 11 a.m., 5 p.m., and then 8 p.m. So I'm just going to click on done, and I'm going to repeat the same process for the other days. And as you can see, I've set my auto post not to post on Sunday, but to post on every other day, other two or three times or on different times, but you can really set it up the way you want to and it's better to go with best practices. So I'm just gonna hit apply. Next step would be to choose the product that I wanna use for this auto post. You can select collections from the store. I'm just gonna choose the kitchen collection. For this case, you can choose multiple collections, but for the sake of the example, I'm just gonna keep it as it is. Then select the actual video templates you like. I'm just gonna go to all designs and select a few designs that I like and I think are a good fit for my products and I think this is good enough I'm just gonna hit apply next I'm going to take care of the captions you can create your own captions but I'm just going to select the built-in ones you can use custom parameters like the product price product title product URL etc I'm just gonna use them as they are and if you want you can always add a new one here and once I'm done all I have to do is just click on set live and boom this is where the magic happens and if I click on done now in the auto post my Facebook auto post is live, which is different than the other platforms. If I head over to the planner now, I'm going to see that my planner is being populated and my new Facebook posts are being created as we go. This process can take several minutes because Minta is now using the AI to find the best videos to the best products and set them on your calendar. Now, if I hover over any video, I can see the time of the day in which is going to be posted. And if I want to edit this video, I can just click on it and I can see the actual caption with the all the dynamic parameters i can see the preview of the video if i wish to i can just click on play to see that and if i wish to edit the video i can click on edit so i'm just going to keep it as it is i'm going to close it now and you can see that i have now three videos almost every day if i move on to the next month here you're going to see that i only have these two videos and the rest of them are going to show like a skeleton thumbnail and the reason for that is minta only create the videos one week in advance to make sure that all the product details like price and titles are staying updated also if you have any product that are becoming out of stock they're not going to show up in the post which is also very important so we have facebook let's move on to instagram now for instagram it's important to make sure that your instagram page is a business page and that it's connected to your facebook page so there are two articles here you need to follow to make sure that the business account is the right one my current facebook page isn't connected i also have a demo instagram page all right so this is my demo instagram page as you can see here is me uh, next to the eiffel tower now i'm just gonna need to head over to settings and switch to professional account that's the first step awesome so this is the first step and as you can see now my instagram page is a business page the next step would be to connect my facebook page to an instagram page so i'm going to go to my facebook page i'm going to head over to settings linked accounts and then connect account i'm going to hit on connect confirm Perfect. So we're all done. Now my Instagram page is connected to my Facebook page and my Instagram account is a business account. So if I go back to Minta, I'm going to hit refresh here. I should be able to connect my Instagram page right here. Eric test three. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to hit apply. From here, we're going to follow up the same steps as the previous steps we've had in Facebook. So I'm just going to set up my date and times real quick. So for the Instagram page, I made it a little bit easier, just every day of the week, two times per day, and I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to select my products. In here, I'm going to select again, just the kitchen products for the templates. Just going to head over to all designs and I'm going to do product videos, or maybe let's see if they have something for Instagram here. Now I'm just going to do maybe best sellers. So I think we're good. I'm going to hit apply. And then the captions, again, I'm going to use all of our Instagram captions and I'm going to set Instagram live as well and boom now Instagram is also ready let's get back to our planner as you can see Instagram and Facebook are not live I'm going to go back to my planner and look at the magic now the Instagram posts are being generated as well it can take again up to five minutes uh, for everything to load 
If I go back to my Instagram page, you can see that it's empty. But again, in a day or two, I'm going to go back here and show you what it looks like when the videos are being posted. In the planner, you can also see the icon of the relevant platform to know exactly which platform it's going to be posted on. And if I move on to the next page, again, you're going to see the skeletons for everything that is more than a week from now. Moving on, let's also connect our TikTok. Again, I've created a test account, which is empty. Now I'm going to select the account. Here we have Eric Minta test, which is this empty TikTok account. I'm going to hit apply. From here, again, everything is going to follow the same steps. So I'm just going to fast forward through everything. For the times, just three times a day. And I'm going to set TikTok live. Boom, TikTok is also live. And when we're gonna click on done, you can see now that TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook are live. And if I go back to my planner, I'm going to be able to see my TikTok videos also being generated as we go live. Again, you can edit all of these videos and change the timing, the video itself, the captions, everything by clicking on it and preview the video or edit and make all the changes you want. I'm for the sake of this example video, I'm just gonna keep everything as it is. Moving on to the last and final uh, social media platforms that is currently supported by Minta is Pinterest. So again, I'm just going to connect my Pinterest account. In order to connect a Pinterest account, we first need to make sure that the Pinterest account is a business account. If you want to learn how to do it in a step-by-step, -step, you can just click here but in general, you need to go to your account and just click on convert to business. I'm going to upgrade. It doesn't cost anything. It's just going to allow you to become a business. Here test. Okay, so now that my Pinterest account is a business account, I created uh, one board uh, to which I'm going to post. And if I go back to Minta and I'm just going to click on connect Pinterest, just going to give it access. And now I should be able to select my board. As you can see, test board right over here. I'm going to click apply. From here, I'm just going to repeat the exact same process. See you guys in a minute. and I'm gonna set Pinterest live. And this is it, guys. If we go back, now all my four platforms are connected to my Shopify store. Again, this will work with any other e-commerce store that you have. If I go back to the planner, I'm going to see that my Pinterest videos are also being edited. And this is it, guys. Minta is now working on the Pinterest videos as well. And as you can see, it's generating about 11 new pieces of content to four different social media platforms without me having to do anything. Um, and this can keep going on forever. If I move on to the next month, it's going to be the same. And then the next month and then the next month and you don't have to do anything this will automatically update it according to your products with all the recent details if it's pricing new products new collections etc you don't really need to do that much and if i want to edit let's say this tiktok video i can just click on it i'm going to see the preview i can change the caption uh, the different account that is going to be posted on the different time yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So again, you can edit everything from the video editor, but this is a very basic video for a very basic product. So I'm just gonna close it and keep it as it is. Uh, as you can see, now I have four different pages. We have Pinterest. Uh, if we go back to Facebook, we got Instagram and we got TikTok. All of them are empty. The final step of the video is let's just wait a couple of days and I'm going to get back here and show you exactly what it looks like when it's all populated with the real content generated by Minta. So I'll see you in two days and uh, bye for now. Okay, so it's been about two days since we launched our auto post. And as you can see, all of these posts have been posted to my social media pages. We have three Instagram posts. We have five TikToks, four Facebook posts and uh, five pins on Pinterest. If I go to TikTok, as you can see, it's already getting nice views. I already see some videos. I see that we have some views on it already. On Instagram, we had these three posts being live. We should have four Facebook posts promoting our products with links to our store, to the product. Very nice. And on Pinterest, we have six pins live, all of them with plenty of views, which is cool. So pretty much 
that's everything. I never need to worry about social media ever again. If I go to the next page, you can see that every time one week in advance, my new posts are starting to be created. Again, if you want to edit any of them, you can. Uh, but this is everything we're going to cover in this video. This is it, guys. You now know everything you need to know on how to completely automate your social media platforms in 2023 for your online store. If you have any questions or comments, just make sure to comment them in the comment section below and I promise we'll answer each and every one of you. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know whenever I release new videos and new content. And, you know, just if you like me, that's also nice. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a great rest of the week or day or weekend, wherever you are. Have a great rest of the day. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.